Hello and welcome to this short demo video about the Syntian uh, Raspberry Pi Linux based uh, distribution for uh, running uh, LV2 plugins for example and uh, it provides a very nice uh, GUI which you can uh, access by using the knobs and you can assign uh, uh, plugins to MIDI channels uh, using uh, this uh, GUI. For example, here you can see uh, the uh, plugins available here. Uh, the first one is very nice synthesizer. It has very deep sounding, uh, complex uh, sounds, but uh, uh, it requires a lot of CPU power. So. Uh, uh, it's it's uh, definitely uh, max max out the uh, Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, Fluid Synth and Linux Sampler are both sound found uh, players. Very nice. Uh, ZB3 is a very nice Hammond emulator. And ModUI is uh, a plugin host where you can run uh, LV2 plugins, and you can configure this. Uh, Using, using a website which is generated by the Synthene. You can access it with your browser if you enter the IP. And um, then you can, you can build up your, your, uh, yeah, your um, sound routings, a chain of effects. Uh, you get access to uh, a lot of level 2, uh, LV2 um, uh, plugins, uh, syn um, s many more uh, synthesizers and so on. It's a, a huge, huge uh, addition. I think I got a uh, about 500 uh, plugins on, on this uh, system here right now. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I, I will use this here together with uh, my iPad. And uh, my iPad is connected to the Syntian using this iConnect sound card. And here runs the MIDI cable. Here we go. Um, yeah, sadly this will be no sound demo because right now I'm just running on headphones and I have no uh, loudspeakers attached so I cannot record sound uh, using, using the microphone of the uh, iPhone I'm using for recording. Yeah, uh, but let's uh, show you something. I, I will just uh, add some drums for example. I will go for, I will go for sound found providing drums. Right now it's convenient. Uh, I can now assign a MIDI channel. I will choose uh, MIDI channel 10. I could assign uh, more than one uh, plugin listening to uh, the same MIDI channel or I can divide it as I like so I can create layers or not have them separated each on its own channel. Uh, let's choose some drums, 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 drums. Here you go, drums. Uh, just, I will choose the brush kit. Here you have direct access to some of the parameters and they are assigned to the knobs. By the way, this is uh, works as a touchscreen also. You can see I can use the touchscreen. But I got... I like the knobs. I really like them. Yeah, uh, here on, on, on my iPad I'm running Cubases. Uh, you can see I've soloed here this... Uh, MIDI track, it's assigned to uh, to MIDI channel 10. And yeah, we just assigned MIDI channel 10 uh, to this uh, brush kit. And now I can uh, start it. Uh, it's just uh, my speaker, so it's very uh, silent. But yeah, that's the way it works. Now I could go on and assign uh, more instruments, a piano and so on, and uh, but I I think you can, I can think of how that works. I can go back and to the, yeah, I have the, uh, can I, can, I can see my current uh, configuration and I can add a new layer. And I could now add something different, a synthesizer here, for example, on channel one. And here we go, we, there are a lot of presets and this is just uh, categories. And it goes on. It's very nice. It has uh, a lot of uh, presets, but you can uh, make your own. You can uh, make your own on mod, mod UI and so on. It's, uh, uh, it has a lot of opportunities. Yeah, uh, hopefully this gives you an idea about the Sintian and uh, uh, how it works and what you can do with it. 
Uh, sadly, I cannot show you right now the uh, the web web uh, UI, which is uh, which you can access on your web browser because I don't have connected it to my network right now. But uh, yeah, uh, it's a very nice thing, and I I'm very grateful for for the great developers on the uh, forums uh, providing us with those uh, nice uh, updates and and this great piece of software. Uh, bye.